I don't even know where the devil you're coming from. Sometimes you make me want to curse, and I don't. And I'm not. My mom said, "TB," she called me Anthony. Don't curse. But let's let's be clear. The ground rules are as follows: If we hurt your feelings, too bad. We try not to hurt your feelings. We try not to. We have an in- entire Frank. We met with the No Hurt Feelings production team last week, and they working around the clock not to hurt anybody's feelings. But I think you hurt their feelings, Frank, when you talk to them. Too bad. Okay. And <laughs> we also have an, a separate group of, of mostly young folks, but there's 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 people, uh, you know, my age, like 40-ish, uh, in the group. <laughs> Um, that are politically correct team, and they are working around the clock to make sure that everything we say is politically correct. In fact, Frank and I, as part of our, as part of our what we do, we have to submit our comments to the politically correct team and get them approved before we say them. And so, if you get your feelings hurt because we say something that's not politically correct. That's on you. That's on you. And finally, and I've said this many, many times, there is nothing I'm going to say that's going to hurt your feelings or that's going to be wrong. But if I do say something in the unlikely event, blame it on Frank. (laughs) And if Frank says something that hurts your feelings or is politically incorrect, blame it on Frank. So now... Frank, I want to go straight to something uh, because a lot of people have been talking about it, and I think people want to hear about it. We're talking with Tony on a Friday evening, 6 to 8 p.m., 281-558-5738, Russian paid bounties. Why hasn't Trump done anything about it? Because it hasn't been proven, and what are you going to do, man? No, uh, What are we going to do? We're going to bomb them to hell. You're going to bomb Russia to hell? Well, I don't know. No. No, okay, no. well, let's hear it. No, man. no, I would. You, you, no, I would. That is another. That is another ridiculous. All right, story. well, let's hear what you got to say. Well, it's a ridiculous. You're the Trump guy. You're the Trump. Guy. You're, you're wearing the hat. I'm wearing an Anguilla hat. You're wearing. No, no. Make- well, let me let me see, man. What you're really wearing is Anguilla Sculpture Symposium. What sculpture are you talking about? I found this in a thrift shop in Anguilla. But go ahead. Why don't, would you wear that hat? I love the way that you're trying to change the subject. I'm not changing My the question, subject. I just want to know what you're sculpting. I I bought this in a thrift shop. It a cost me five dollars. I needed to cover my head. My head was burning. I could have given you a Trump hat. Yeah. Uh, well, that was uh, anyway. Don't try, try to change the subject, you, Frankie. Yeah, I'm uh, not changing the subject. Good try, lawyer boy. No. Listen. I'm not a lawyer. My question five uh, two eight one five five eight five seven three eight. If you want to, if you want to put Frank on the line. And you want to call Frank out? We're asking okay, Frank about deal. Russian paid deal. bounties and why the United States it's, hasn't done anything about it's it. It's not been proven. Okay, Frank. according to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Okay. okay, they say that there is no credible evidence to prove that. If there was, I mean, I okay, mean, let's assume there was. Come on, what, man. What would you do as uh, the president? I would take, what would Trump uh, do? I would t- I would take sanctions against them in various ways. Sanctions. Whoa, whoa, sanctions. whoa, whoa. You're saying I wouldn't take military action. You're saying that they were targeting our people, like well, our and guys. we targeted their people during the no, Afghanistan that war. Work. That doesn't work for me, oh, Frank. That's BS. As a Marine, it doesn't work for me. Okay, well, as a Marine, no, no, no. I'm asking the question. You're a guy that 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 represented uh, Gulf War veterans. That's right. You're a guy that spent literally 20 years representing Gulf War and veterans. millions of dollars. Yes, and I'm a Gulf War veteran, so I'm asking you again. Put it. Take your Trump hat off for a minute. It had nothing to do with Trump. It well, has to do with what I'm saying. My question is, if Russia— Okay, I'm president of the United States, if you want me to be. Yeah. And 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 what I, if I had to make the decision and I heard that they had bounties on our guys, what I would do, is that what you're asking me? I would blow them out of the water. No, that's— Okay, that, why? That's not— Because it's it, it, we have done things—what did we do when we had— No, that you're, is, you're arguing about when, when a, a wife and a, a husband get in an argument and then she starts bringing up— Something from the past. I'm talking no, about no, no. issue. No, no, no. You got to look at it as a as a total. And so the thing is, they ha- are are I disagree, do- Frank. But go ahead. Well, go ahead. Go I'm ahead. Get- but let me I'm, finish. Okay, I'm sorry. They are advocate. I mean, we're in a kind of a cold war with them in certain ways. In a proxy war is actually the way it should be phrased. 
in in Afghanistan. Trump wants out of Afghanistan. Okay, he wants out. He wanted to pull the troops out a long time ago. The Joint Chiefs of Staff and every and 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 Lindsey Graham and the remnants of John McCain say no. We got to still be there, so we still have some people there. He wants out. He's been saying it since he was running for office. In in so far as in so far as you're talking about bounties, one, it's never been proven. If it was proven, then we should take countermeasures against them. Perhaps what putting the countermeasures, putting proxies on their people that are on in Ukraine. Okay, you don't you don't go bombing a. I mean, if we're not going to bomb China for invading us with the coronavirus, don't go, don't go. No, no, no. no. I'm telling off, you, no, 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 no. It, it's so ridiculous, Tony, that you would mm. say that if we're not going to bomb China for doing what they do to us in the coronavirus and destroying our economy and everything else, then don't talk to me about the fact that that they may have paid some Afghanistan warlords in order to keep fighting and take out some American soldiers in order to get us out of the country because of what we had done to them. Okay, I'm not defending Russia. I'm just telling you that it's not an equivalent. So, I mean, I, do, I totally disagree with you. I, what I say is if it was proven, then certain measures need to be taken in a, in, a, in a measured fashion. That could be covert activity, or it could be economic activity, or it could be sanction activity. Okay. All right. We're going we're gonna to leave this subject where Change it is. Change this subject. No, no, but I want to finish with this. Your position is that that and I know Russia denies it and Trump, so do our Joint Chiefs of Staff. No, I hear you and Trump and I hear you and Trump says that there's not enough evidence. In his last long lengthy interview, he said it, it didn't even come across his desk. I, I watched it, but my position is this: just so we're all clear, as a Marine, as somebody who served overseas, if I were the president. And I found out that Russia was paying bounties to kill and injure Marines or soldiers serving overseas. I would respond in a thermonuclear manner. I would not put up with that. I would absolutely not put up with that. And I would make it clear that we will not put up with that. You will not do that. And I would not do sanctions. I would not respond in kind by putting bounties on Russians' heads or whatever. I would do what it takes to make it clear that that is not acceptable because the mothers and fathers and the service people of the United States absolutely expect that. And I'm going to change the subject. I know you don't like it, Frank. But no, that's where that I, I am. Like We're going to take a break. Of course, I we'll would be back. I would agree with that if, if, if in fact. Uh, well, I were a mother or a father, but running a country, you don't take thermo, thermo, I don't. Should, I didn't say nuclear. I just meant thermonuclear. Meaning no, no you said thermonuclear. Talking. I know I okay. did. Two eight one five five eight five seven three eight. Call in. Talking with Tony. If you, you got do something that, you want to talk, talk to Frank about, then call then in and say, "Go hey. ahead and bomb China, North I didn't, Korea, I didn't, and I didn't the rest mean, of them." I didn't Let's mean get done it. with it. We'll be back. We'll be back. Let's take a break. Isn't that funny that? That for the first time ever, I'm more militant than Frank. Yeah. Because I'm not that militant. I'm like, you know, a guy that like gets along, gets along, go along, get along, like a Sam Rayburn. But Fr- but Frank, you're a pacifist. What do you say, Frank? Go ahead, turn it to me. What do you say? What do you say? Frank's a pacifist. I'm not a pacifist. I'm a tar. I'm targeted militant, and I'm not stupid. Okay. And so the point is, when well, you want to start a global war. In a situation where we're fighting a stupid proxy war, which we should be out of, that is the dumbest thing that I could, no matter what they did, okay? We did plenty of things when they were in there in Afghanistan. That is not a good response. I don't care whether it's a good response. It's a rational response. No, no. It's a total rational response. I reject response. that. I reject it. Well, I don't care whether you reject well, it or not. Well, it's my show. I get to reject it. Well, you can and reject I it reject if you it. want. It's my life, and I can say what I want. <laughs> I can't. Listen, I reject what Frank says. I mean, I love Frank. I mean, I love him as much as I can throw him. And how much you weigh, Frankie? 275. 275. That means I can throw him uh, uh, actually half an inch. And let me say, but I still love him. But let's talk about something. I want to talk about when Frank talks about equivalence or equivalence or, you know, there's a a term, a phrase out there. Why don't we get outraged when we figure out that? And, and again, Russia denies it. The Joint Chief says there's no evidence of it. 
Okay, so uh, what basis does he have to do anything? Well, and then if he did something, the whole world. Would how many times has there been? Some, if he did something, well, we just the Joint Chiefs of Staff. What oh are you my doing? goodness, You're Frank! We just had we just had riots all over the country based on less evidence than that. Yeah, we just learned that, that didn't we? We just Trump, learned Trump's that. The I'm not talking the about States. Trump. You're you're so wrapped around the axle about not. Trump. I didn't even talk about Trump. Yes, you are. You're no, I'm not. I'm not against States. Trump. You you think I'm against Trump? I'm you're not. asking the president of the United States to take a. Action. I'm asking the president of the United States to find out if our and Marines they, and soldiers were targeted, and if they were, we need to respond in a. And when I say thermonuclear, I don't mean like okay, throwing bombs. I mean in a mean way. I mean in I a. I agree with that. And you've heard. You remember. You know the person I'm talking about that used to use that phrase. We're going to respond in a thermonuclear manner. I don't, I don't mean. Know who the person you're yeah, you about. do. We'll talk about it in off the, off record, but I don't mean like throwing nuclear bombs. I mean responding in kind. Well, is all I have I mean. no problem with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that, and I agree only with strength of against aggressors and against totalitarians. We're getting ready to go back, but I just want to say, people need to know across the world that we will not put up with that kind of foolishness. I agree with that 100%. That's all I'm saying. I agree with that 100%. So we don't have a difference of opinion. I'm just more, I was just being more uh, diplomatic, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> One of my strengths. <laughs> all right, let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about, good boy? Oh, you like that song, that's right? I like all these songs. The boys are back in town, Frankie. And the boys have never left town. <laughs> Last week, Frank threatened to punch me in the face. It really hurt my feelings. <laughs> I wouldn't hurt that face that you like so much. <laughs> it's only a face that you could love. <laughs> it's a face only a mother could love. No, you. Can all right, love. guys, we're back. I'm sorry, we're... It's we're, all Oedipus, baby. we're having a lot of fun over the break. Um, we were laughing about last week, and uh, it was a little raucous over here last week, and we were having a lot of fun after I got back from the Bahamas, and uh, I got engaged to my woman, the, my, my, my favorite person in the world. And Frankie, and, and this, is, this is new information, like breaking news, Frank Spagnoletti, the guy that we all love to hate, the guy that we're trying to dump, the guy that 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 there was a movement started that started in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, hashtag dump Frank by popular demand, and I didn't even want him. I didn't even want him, but Frank is going to be one of the groomsmen of the Tony Busby wedding, and it is going to be one of the biggest things. And I can't eat. I haven't seen Frank in a tuxedo, and I've known him for twenty. I mean, I, listen, I'm only forty. So, I've known him for what ten years, Frankie. Years. Yeah, whatever. I don't know how I knew you when I was twelve, but in, in any event, <laughs> Frank is going to be wearing a tuxedo because that's the required. And I would call in just so you want to see Frank in a tuxedo. Two eight one five five eight five seven three eight. We're gonna we're gonna switch gears. We talked about Russian paid bounties, and Frank, you know, is a is a is a. And look, I. I I'm not saying I don't anything. Disagree with you. No, I'm, I'm just, not saying. No, you're just I, I'm you're just, a Trump apologist. That's what you no, are. I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, then I want I want to. There was a there was a a lengthy interview that Trump just gave that's all over the internets. Um, where when when Trump was and and I will say that the interviewer was disrespectful. He never let uh, Trump respond. I listened to the whole thing. Uh, my son was playing it right before we came here because my son is interested in politics as well. And the guy, I thought the guy was the guy doing the interview. I forget his name. Was very disrespectful, but but he got Trump to say when they were talking about the the number of deaths regarding uh, the coronavirus. Um, uh, Trump was quoted. I mean, I shouldn't say Trump. The president was quoted because it's disrespectful to say Trump. The president was quoted as saying, "It is what it is." Well, let and me people talk about jumped on jumped on him about that. Frank, what do you say about? What do I say about this? Yeah. Put that camera on me here. This is what you should take a look at right here. Okay, you see this? This is what the truth is, and what you should be looking at. And what tell the, tell the people listen on the radio, Frank? What you're yeah, talking I'm about. talking on the radio. It's a, it, this is from the CDC. At this point in time, this snapshot that when I got, they were 
47,313, 47,313,367 total tested. Total negative cases, total negative cases. So 47 million tested, that's what you're right. saying? I'm gonna, Out of 300 I'm, million in the U.S. That's right. Okay. And then there were total negative tests of 42,942,540. Okay. So about 5 million positive. The negative rate was 90.76%. The total positive tests were 4,307,863. So 4.3 million. The positive rate was 9.24. Okay. Total deaths were at that time 139,659. No, it's way past that now, Frank. Okay, well, I'm just giving you a snapshot. I'm just okay? saying. I'm just listening. Okay, just well, saying. we can run the numbers. There have been more tests. Okay. At that point in time, I'll just cut to the bottom line. The chance of not dying of the chance of not dying from COVID was ninety nine point nine six percent. But what is your point? Is that your point? Is that your no. point? The point is this is absurd. The whole thing is absurd. The the whole lockdown. The whole. I mean, I want to get into this today. Okay? Well, let's because do I'm it. Very upset. I'm upset on a number of different levels. And I mean, you want to get into it? No, right now? I want. I'm giving you the floor. Go ahead. Okay. Last well, week I didn't do a good job of it. I'm gonna do a better job. Well, this one week. of the things that made me mad, and then we can get into the specifics All on right. what I'm. But just, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna ask you some pointed questions. You can ask me whatever the heck you want. Go ahead. Uh, one of the things that really upset me today was that um, was that uh, Michelle Obama came out and said this is an, uh, that that this COVID situation is an opportunity to change how we distribute wealth. Okay, okay. all right, that, that's baloney. Oh, well, let me finish. Okay. Okay, so she says that. That makes me almost want to curse and get kicked off by the FCC. Well, let, 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 I understand <laughs> that, and I don't believe me, I have the same feelings. And when you look into it, they, they say it's an opportunity to think about how wealth is distributed to lower income essential workers. And then they go on to describe Drivers of garbage trucks, uh, people who work in warehouses. What does that have to hold, do with anything? Hold on a second. Yeah. People who work in grocery stores, hospitals. Yes, I agree that they are absolutely essential workers. But you know what? I looked up the word essential since apparently she didn't. Okay? And the word essential means... Let me have that article you had. Let me have that. Which one? The one about Michelle Obama. And the, 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 the word essential means necessary. It, it means... It's it's used as absolutely necessary or extremely important. Okay, now let me tell you this. You know who's extremely important? Extremely important is a mother who goes to work in any job and take in order to support her family. Is a father who goes to work every day to try to put bread on the table. Is the lawyer who runs my son who runs a law firm and he provides jobs for many people. The receptionist, the legal assistants the office managers, the lawyers that work in that law firm. They, it's essential. Why? Because they provide for their children. They provide. For, they pay their mortgages. They maintain the, 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 the integrity of this country by doing so. Everybody is essential. And I get really upset when they try, when we're having government define who the heck essential is. I say government doesn't define who essential is. We define who essential is, and it's all of us who are essential. Don't tell me I'm not essential. I'm essential right now, talking on this station, because I'm talking about what's essential. And that and my function right here. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. This sounds... Wait. Frank, listen. Everybody, I want everybody to understand what Frank just said, so we're all clear. That, that Frank said... He's essential because he's talking about what is essential. <laughs> and and he, he's all he's all juiced up about it. But I will say this, Frank, give me give me like give me like one minute and I'm gonna give you back the mic. I will say, and listen, I've never said a cross word about Michelle Obama. She's an accomplished person. Yeah, well, and she gets a hundred million Frank, dollars. From but guess Netflix. what, Frank? No, wait a minute. You they just interrupted me. You they just get a hundred million dollars from Netflix, and they can sit out and no, they, they can sit up in Massachusetts no, I get and it, tell I get us, it. But can I, tell us what's essential. Frank, can I'll I, tell you what's essential: paying the mortgage, Frank, putting food on the I, table. But you, the videographers here are essential. <laughs> Everybody's essential, and it's not. It's wrong for these. I'll elitists, be back in a minute. I'm going to the bathroom. For these elitists <laughs> to be telling us who essential is. No, it makes me really upset. I know. I know you're upset for it, but can I? Can I just like? I want to drill down on something you said because 
because you said something that I don't think a lot of people, and, 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 and I don't really care what side of the aisle you are or where you are on the political spectrum. Neither do I. But, but Frank, you just, you, just keep throw, you, just keep, you just keep interrupting me. But I'm sorry. It's, okay, it's all right. I was trying to do what you do. No, I know. I do that a lot. I'm sorry. I did that last week a yeah, lot. That's all right. Um, and that's okay. Thank you. I, I live with you. No, we, 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 we have nothing but respect. But let me say. Because you're essential. Oh, my God, Frank. I'm trying to say something. <laughs> I will say this, reading this, if, if this quote is correct, it Ooh. is offensive. Um, Turn the pages. The, 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 coronas, the coronavirus epidemic or pandemic was actually an opportunity to think about, quote, how wealth is distributed. No, that's not what this is. That's not what's going on. And if you're using if you're using this pandemic and this and this uh, what's going on and if that's your point of view, then I'm going to say I roundly reject that. Frank, I, 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 did not, I did not know that Michelle Obama had said that. I'm surprised she would say that. I'm not. It's ridiculous on its face. It's as, as Rick Perry would say, it's asinine on its face. It's ridiculous. You know um, why I'm, not re- I'm surprised that she said that? Because her pal Oprah, oh, oh, Oprah, 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 her pal Oprah over there is trying to pander some book that talks about, you know, how white people don't understand what it is to be prejudiced against. She's a billionaire. I know. And, no, I wait just a minute. Hate it. it makes me feel so uncomfortable because I like Oprah. I don't like, I'm not going to sit here and say I like Oprah. I like Oprah. I'll say it. And, and if, if you listeners, you're driving in your car, call in 281-558-5738. I'm just going to tell you. I like Michelle Obama and I like Oprah. I do not like what Michelle Obama said. I'm just going to tell you, I, I don't, don't like what she said. I don't because like because was I, my I, dad and my parents made collectively thirty thousand dollars a year. My entire upbringing were they essential or the, or she decided they're not essential? No, they're I don't not know. essential. They're just butchers. I'm sorry, May, uh, cutting food up for people and trying to let people live their lives. This is the problem. And I've got I wish some, we didn't have to be so mean and negative. I've to each got other something all the damn to say time. about all that. Well, go ahead and say it. Before you do that, let me go. You you get you get your you like get your spunk back up. Get your spunk back up. No, I'm get good, your man. spunk. No, no, you get your spunk, get back, my up. spunk back up. Have yourself a glass of water. <laughs> Give me some Viagra. Ladies and gentlemen, 281-558-5738. We're talking with Tony. I know we don't really take many of your calls. <laughs> like, Tony. It's all about Frank talking. <laughs> no. Not really. But I want to I want to talk about um and I know a lot of people are listening for all of the country, but Day-to-day life in Houston. The day-to-day life. Frank, has your life in Houston, lay aside the coronavirus and the COVID-19 and, and, the, um, and the, all the other things that have happened over the, uh, since, I guess, March, what has changed in your life? Since the coronavirus? Well, just since March. Because there's been a lot of stuff. There, was, there were the riots. There, or there were the, the you know let what? me say protests first, then riots. The coronavirus. Um, I mean, a lot of stuff has happened. I mean, and and now we got you know we're 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 like what ninety days out from an election. I mean, what what what's your just? I mean, you changed in my life. Yeah, I mean, is what, that what you're asking me? Just comment, Frank. My goodness, do I have to pull teeth over here? <laughs> You've never been one that was was. Like, I don't go to the dentist, so you're gonna have a good job with that. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get him on camera. Hey, get that camera off him. I'm, I'm the star of this show. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm the star <laughs> of this I'm show. I'm answering the question. All right, answer the question. And he can answer it while I'm listening. You know, get my reaction to his. From now on, this is talking with Tony. Frank is an is a, a footnote. Go ahead, Frank. Okay. As a footnote, what I have to say about it. All right, you can put it on him. <laughs> what I have to say about what you asked me, how's my life changed? I cannot uh, complain about how I've been able to exist under the uh, current uh, totalitarian regime. Oh, my goodness that we, that No, it's true, and I'm going to talk about well, it. Well, I'm okay? listening. Go ahead. But, but, I'm giving but, you the opportunity. No, but you asked me how my life has changed. My, the way my life has changed, if you want to tell me how I feel and how what it's done to me, is that if, that, if you're asking me for feelings, my feeling is I've lost my freedom. That's what my feeling is. I've lost my freedom of travel. There is I've not lost. one thing that he's lost, but go ahead. Yes, it is. Go ahead. I can't travel. There's not a... one thing you've lost. Yes, go ahead. I have. Let's hear it. Well, well, you say there's not one thing I lost, then how can you say that? Okay, you well, you can't go to Canada. You're going to run from the draft. 
I'm not running from the draft, but I happen to own some property there, and I would like to go there. Well, you can go. Get on a no, plane I and go. No, I cannot go. I think you can. The border's closed. Okay? I cannot go to Canada. All right, we'll talk I about that. I can't go I to... want everybody to send in your I'm tears. I'm sorry, I didn't go to the Bahamas. I, I want I everybody to, to put your tears <laughs> in a vial and send them to Talking with Tony at the radio station because Frank can't go to his fancy house no, in Canada. I don't have a fancy house. I would just like the ability to do it whether I do it or not. It's the freedom. I would like to not be told that I have to do this or I have to do that. Guys, I, 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 we're going to take a break because I need to go to the cry room here that we have. 281-558-573. I'm going to take a, take a cry break. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking with Frank. He's right. They did close the... Did they really close the entire Canada yes. border? They, they closed the U.S.-Canada border. For cr coronavirus? Yes. Well, that was probably because the Canadian Prime Minister doesn't like Trump. Well, it, Canadian Prime Minister is a... He's a fine-looking man. I would say that, though. Yes. He's uh, a fine-looking man. I don't know if he's a man or a woman. Oh, well, he's a man. I mean, I'm not on. sure about it. He's a fine. He's, he's a fine looking man. I don't. Whatever. I mean, he looks a lot like me. Let's be honest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't. You don't look like a man or a woman either. It's up to you. You decide. <laughs> we got to talk about our sponsors when we come back, and we're going to give away some stakes. And if you're watching, we're giving away some stakes. I talked to. I talked to. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. But I'm just talking to Facebook right now. Uh, we're going to give away some stakes. So if you're not calling in, you're not getting any stakes. We're not giving away on Facebook. We're giving away on the call. So call in 281-558-5738 if you want some of the best steaks. You've and Am I right? Yes, the best. The one. best steaks that you've ever eaten, you got to call in. And so we're going to take a little break. Frank, why are you so juiced up today? Because there's a lot of subjects that need to be talked okay, about. Okay, well, you, you, lead, you, lead the next, you lead the next segment. And okay. I'll just sit over here and make fun well, of you. Then I'll ask. No, you don't need to make fun of me. If you'd open up your mind, you'd, you'd be expanding your horizons. I'm, I, I've always needed to expand my horizons. I want to say Dale Daniel in Florida, my buddy, this is Frank. He, he, I've had people text me like, hey, Tony, I really like your show. I really love Frank. I wish I could curse. Dale I Daniel, you can love me or you hate me, but at least you're listening to me, and that's what I appreciate. Thank you See, very yeah. much. Frank is a ninja. <laughs> Frank is a ninja? Now put it back over here. Frank is a ninja? Real ninja. Frank, that's the biggest ninja I've ever seen. <laughs> the biggest actually, ninja I've ever seen. You think, you think you can sneak up on anybody? No, but I'm a pack of ninjas. No, he's like four ninjas in one package. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean the, the truth, we, we have... Hey, Frank, did I make you uncomfortable by... You, you and Ryla have been together how many years? I'm putting you 16, on the spot. 16, 17 years. Oh, and married? I got I got I got engaged in a year and a half. That's right, but but you're and my buddy Keith Overton down in Florida, who I know is watching this, who has been with his fiance for like four years. Step up, pal. Yeah, but no, I mean I I <laughs> all my I, friends I are mad. They're really mad at me. She's a cat, man. She runs like a cat. Frank, are you getting She married? runs like a cat. I'm a dog, okay? What you see is what you get. I'm just like to eat. I like, you know, all the things dog like. She's a dog like. She he likes to run. I'm at a higher level. like Joe Biden. What's no. the difference between a lion and a, whatever he said? <laughs> you know, that's a good you thing. You know, man, come on, man. That's one thing I want to I want to bring up is mental health. We're going to talk about it. mental health. Mental this, health. this next thing we should talk about is I'm going to say something serious. And then oh, you're going to say something serious? Yeah, yeah. You getting yeah. married? No. You're going to you're going to you're going to propose the rod on the air? Heck, man! I mean, <laughs> come on, man! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it to you. Just let me let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this for a minute, and I'll kick it to you. All right. All right. You are on the radio or you're on the internets and you're talking with Tony. We're the most, um, we are the king of all radio uh, in Houston. The most popular radio show. I don't know why in Houston, but I want to, I want to say a few things and then I'm going to, I'm going to kick it off to Frank because Frank has so much he wants to talk. He brought a whole folder, if you can believe that. I always bring a folder. I want to say, you didn't lie. Anyway, whatever. We drink too much. We smoke too much. We spend too recklessly. 
We laugh too little. We drive too fast. We get too angry. We stay up too late. We get up too tired. We read too little. We watch TV too much. And we pray too seldom. The paradox of our time and history is that we have taller buildings but shorter tempers. Wider freeways but narrower viewpoints. We spend more, but we have less. We buy more, but enjoy less. We have bigger houses and smaller families. More conveniences, but less time. We have more degrees, but less sense. More knowledge, but less judgment. More experts, but yet more problems. More medicine, but less wellness. We've multiplied our possessions, but we reduced our values. We talk too much, love too seldom, and hate too often. The great George Carlin said those words, and it's so true even today. God, rest in peace, George Carlin. And Frank, this is the state of our existence today. Change the subject because it makes me depressed. Well, I mean, obviously many of the things that were said there are true, but the point is this is not the time to to, 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 to back off. This, because we are in a full-on assault against the very essence of this country. They would do away with God. They would do away with guns. They would do away with, with the values that made this country that we should not be apologizing for. And they want to destroy it. Who but, is they? Come on. I'm just saying, who is they? Who, you, who you, is uh, they? They is a pronoun. I'm sorry. Who is they? Okay. Okay, grammar boy. Who is they? <laughs> who is they? Grammar boy from East Texas. They are the anarchists that are that are trying to protest, and they don't they don't protest. They riot. The 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 godless communists. The the people who basically hate America. And you when point you, them out when you tell like, me their names. Tell well, me their I can names. I tell you their names. It appears to be much of the DNC. Many of the DNC, but there well, are, you're making a lot of enemies right now. I, well, friend. that's fine, but I, there are a lot of good Democrats. Okay, like I've said on this radio station many times, there are great Democratic judges in this in this county. Are you having any local Democratic officials other than our judges? Because I agree, the judges in this town are some of the best in the country. They are some of the best in the country, and they are about people. And I don't care whether you're a Democrat or Republican, you need to vote for people who are about people and small businesses. Beyond and, beyond the local judges, who else would, if, 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 I, if I pushed you and I pressed you, beyond our local judges, who, and I agree with you, we have some really fine judges who are really uh, people-centric, who else would you say, from the Democratic part, because you just mentioned the DNC is, is you, you, I don't forget what word you use, but are you saying that that's it, or are there more locally? Well, locally, yeah, local, locally, uh, no, I, I don't agree with the count, the way the county's being run as a as a totalitarian, edict, dict, dictatorial uh, regime under Hidalgo. Okay, the problem have I have you ha- ever tried to talk to Lena Hidalgo? I don't want to talk to Lena Hidalgo. I don't need to talk to Lena Hidalgo. I don't care about Lena Hidalgo. Well, I care about her. But I mean, why wouldn't well, you just okay. go talk to her? Well, I don't want. I don't have any reason to talk to her. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you this though. What I, I, I what, you never hear me criticize her one time. Now, no, I think no, some of the things she's done were wrong yeah, and, and made a lot of well, people mad and did not did not include people so oh. she could understand everybody's point of view. Yeah. But go ahead. Well, I'm, well, I'm yeah. Well, 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 how do you come up with a rule that says <coughs> we're going to keep our public schools closed, but we're not going to keep our religious schools closed? Now, wait a minute. Here's the deal. We shouldn't be keeping our public schools closed, is what I believe. Because if wait, that's a that's a Greg Abbott thing. No, 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 no. That wasn't a Greg Abbott thing. She does not control the public schools. She controls the rules in the county. Okay. Nah, and, nah, well, no. Well, yeah, no. Well, I don't care. They none of these people have authority. Okay. None of them have authority. And she basically came out with the rules for Harris County. The, 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 pro, the public schools would be closed, but the private schools, like uh, uh, Christian schools or religious schools, could be open. Now, I'm happy about the latter, okay? What, what, why? But, well, because they could be open. But the, but the point is, it makes no sense. These rules make no sense. Does that mean— There's no oh, logic to them. Does that, well, it, there's no sense in it, no common sense. And that's what's lacking in this country is common sense. And all I talk about 
here on the radio, for the most part, is common sense. Why do we hide? Why are we hiding? We basically are kowtowing to people who are imposing ridiculous rules on us that make no sense. Let me give you an example of this, okay? Sweden, for instance. Take Sweden. The top epidemiologist in Sweden. How did you learn that word, by the way? Epidemiologist? I yeah, read it. I never even learned that word. Well, I read really it. Really okay, good. you can yeah, look yeah. it up if you want. Yeah, I think okay. I think I know what it means, but, but go ahead. In Sweden, their top epidemiologist You're going to rely on an epidemiologist from Sweden, but go ahead. Well, more than freaking Fauci, who's not even an epidemiologist, Come okay? On. Why are you getting all up in Fauci's Because Fauci's I don't like business. Fauci Why? either. Because Trump doesn't like no, Fauci. No, it's not about Trump. Why don't Trump? you be an independent thinker every now and I'm again? I'm a total independent thinker. All right, all right, all right. Go okay. ahead. I want to hear what you have to say, but although I've already rejected it, but go ahead. The the uh, Sweden's top epidemiologist says there's no point in wearing masks, okay? Oh, my God. And the That's Dutch. Amazing. But and yet the Dutch. you wore a mask in here today, but go because ahead. Because I'm required to. Oh, I thought, you didn't, I, I thought you didn't follow the rules when it, you didn't agree with them. In order to get in the building, it says you had to there wear a mask. There was nobody down there that made you wear okay, that mask. Okay, well, I had a sign up. There was a sign up, okay? Now, so I did it. But a top epidemiologist in Sweden, the, uh, in, in the Dutch government, I'm said, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. The Go Dutch ahead. government says we will not advise the Dutch the government. Yes, this is your your. This is the same countries that you criticize all the time. Now you're I don't criticize their, them. Now you're taking their their point of view. I Go don't ahead. criticize them right. as opposed to the United States, where we got our mayor. I don't know if you can get this picture. Who but, is our mayor? I forget his name. Is it? But is it, know, it, so who is our who is the mayor of, of? Is it Houston? Tony Busby. No, he lost. Uh, I mean, I don't know what happened to well, him. Anyway, the point is, he now is wearing a full face shield and goggles. And by the way, if you want a full face shield and goggles and, and full face shield and covering, you can get it. And you can get it on Amazon. Probably can I, get it from his company. No, I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I looked it up, and you can buy them on Amazon. And then you can look like an alien. And this all is right, what they want to turn our right. country into. No, but this is the point, Tony. Now. What is your point? Because you're just going off for no reason. No, I'm not going off for no reason. There's a reason. Also, uh, Bobby Kennedy Jr., okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. He claims that Dr. Fauci and Gates Foundation will make billions off the coronavirus vaccine. Oh, come no, no, where no, does no. That come from Bobby Kennedy, who's been who's been against vaccines for a long time. And here's the deal: they're going to if we if we keep going. I'm going to read something first. Hold on, Frank. I don't. You're like all over the no, board. No, I'm not. Let you me need read to, something. You, you, when when we've been in court together, you've always like. Let you, me uh, read. Can something. you let me finish my little thought here? You've always logically laid out your argument. Right. So far, you're just like a bunch of mushrooms popping up in the dark. No. Nope. I don't know what that devil you're doing right nope, now. Because you're, you're like, a, and, and you know what I usually do to mushrooms? I step on them or kick them. Well, that's good for you. Let's then. go. And, and that's unfortunate because you lose some good food. <laughs> and so, <laughs> Tell me. And so, and so, I want to hear what you got to say. And so let me, let me just, let me just uh, read you something. Would you do it quickly? Because I'm bored already. Well, you're always bored. I'm running the show. Unless you're talking, I'm, you're not talking, bored. Exactly. I, I entertain myself. But go ahead. Uh, I'll read it later. No, read it now. No, I'm going to hear it. I'll, I'll just tell you this. No, no. Hear me. Okay. Go ahead. The Houston mayor also wants to send strangers to your house to lecture you on coronavirus. Yeah. No, 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 no. If a stranger that. shows up my at my house to lecture me on coronavirus, they're going to be met by my Rottweilers and me, and I'm going to tell them to get the hell off my property. I don't need to be lectured about coronavirus. Can I lecture you about it right now? We need to be freed from coronavirus. This coronavirus is simply a way to, to subjugate us and subjugate the population and make us be be cowering in our houses all over the in every aspect of our lives okay and we need to stand up and say no what now, do you want us to do what i want us to do yeah what i do want you, us what to is, tell what do you expect us to do tell the government they have no power to do any of these things and go ahead about well, our lives you have a republican party isn't that your party no Okay. I what? told you before that I'm not a member of any party. I'm not either, and, okay. and I got crushed by both sides of it. I'm I'm not a member of any party. There should be a new party. What is it going to be called? The Freedom Party. The f Oh, Freedom. this may have been born right here on the, the radio. The Freedom Party, which which basically people who believe in freedom, and I don't care if you, you know, tend to like... Uh, be a little more democratic or you're more on the right side of things. The point is, anybody who believes in the basic principles of the country and freedom...
can should should stand up for what I'm talking about because otherwise you're going to have a government that basically takes over every aspect of your the life. The government has already taken over aspect. Of no, your no, no, no. Let, let me read. We this. gotta take a little break. I need to We're, read. This. I know you will. When we come back, Frank is gonna read. It's not another manifesto. No, but it's something important. Two eight one five five eight five seven three eight. We want you to call in. I got to give away some stakes. I got to recognize two of our great sponsors. We'll be back when we come back. Frank is on a tear. Back in the back in East Texas, when a guy gets like this, we call it on a tear. Frank is on a tear. We'll be back. Well, let's see what they say. I don't know. Do you want to see Frank getting married? Oh. Oh, my God. Somebody give him a hug. Oh, is, I'm still on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still on. I was looking at uh, you some looking of your... you yourself in the mirror? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking, Tony, you would do well with a makeover. <laughs> Well, you put your sculpture hat. I took my hat. I took my hat off because my my head was starting to get a headache. But Frank has lost it. I mean, he's completely lost it. I appreciate you tuning in. I want to say hi to everybody in Atlanta, Texas. I know you're watching. Thank you for watching. I want to say hey to my old bro in Melbourne, Australia. I want to say hey to my friends over in Florida. I appreciate you watching. I know Frank is making you mad because he's crazier than a Bessie bug. You know a Bessie bug, that little bug that goes like nuts and nuts. That's Frank. But I will say this. Frank has a point. He has a point. I mean, he may present it in a way maybe different than I would present it, but he has a point. And, um, and so we are a little – I think we have a problem in the country. And I think that both parties are ignoring both the Democratic Party, which I was a member of, the Republican Party, which – I toyed with during the election who supported me. None of them are really speaking to the people that live every day that are not politically engaged, but are trying to live their lives and trying to get along. And I don't know what the answer is. Frank says it's a new party, a freedom party. I don't know. That might be a pipe no. dream. It's been tried before. It no. always fails. But Frank, say what you say. Let me just, say. Say, let me just yeah. say this. The truth of the matter is it could be Donald Trump party. Well, but, but that's gonna, say, that's that's got a bad. That well, mean, that, I don't care. I'm not going to apologize for the guy. You may not like his demeanor, but he's done a heck of a lot of good things for the country and and basically made us stronger in the world. And I had this conversation this week with a number of different people, and I basically told them. I said they said he didn't make us stronger in the world. He's made us weaker in the world. Really? That's ridiculous. Okay? Tariffs have basically made us stronger. They have made our they have made our pocketbooks book stronger. They have also made our businesses stronger. They've made our manufacturing stronger, and they've let people know that we're just not going to be the saps of the world that that they can take from. That Europe can't take from us. Uh, uh, South America can't take from us. China can't take from us. None of these countries anymore can take from us. And we don't have to walk around with. Uh, Andrea Merkel in Germany and like act like you know she's our friend while she's doing business with Russia and doing gas deals with Russia Perfect. when we can export gas to her. This is disgusting and Trump's the only person. The reason Trump is having any trouble at all is because he actually took on too many wars at one time. He basically took the rock off the total swamp creatures and they're running around attacking him <laughs> from every angle. All the swamp creatures, and you're seeing them. They're not only in the in the political arena; they are also in the military arena. Many of the, the tops of the of the U.S. military are also military-industrial complex guys. This song, like I said last week, every time I hear it, makes me uh, almost cry because this is. I'm just this is what it's all about, people putting their lives on the line for an idea. Let's not forget, the United States is an experiment. It's an experiment. It's something that had never been done before. Now, of course, there was a French Revolution, and, and a, lot of the, a lot of the ideas that were put in writing, um, there was some model for it. But, but let's not forget, what has been done here had never been done before. And it's still going strong. And a lot of times we get a little bit, you know, jaded and we get a little bit negative. 
and I think that we should be more positive about what we're trying to do. Um, and sometimes, sometimes we're 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 so negative that that and, and we see it. We talked about the cancel culture. We talked about tearing down statues. We we spent a lot of time about that last week, and I'm I'm not going to spend any time about that this week. But I will say, and and we and everybody's mad. Everybody's angry. Everybody wants to yell and scream. And I've been trying to tell Frank, Frank, take it a little easy, man. I mean, yes, there's nothing wrong with being passionate. There's nothing wrong. I mean, in fact, that's the reason. I mean, remember, the founding fathers, the people that declared their independence from England, they literally put themselves, their lives on the line. They were all so-called traitors and criminals, uh, subject to, to death. And they took a great chance, and so and 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 they were passionate. There's no doubt about it. And and uh, you know, I, it would be interesting to know, to to be a fly on the wall, and, and you know, in their homes with their with their loved ones to hear what they had to say about what they were doing at the time. And sometimes we we don't think about that. But on the other hand, let's not forget that there's a lot of different people that make up the what we call the United States. There's a reason we call it the United States is because it's people from all over from all over. And so we need to be a little tolerant of each other, a little patient with one another. And when you're screaming at each other, guess what? That's that that's the, the not the definition of being patient. But I will say that does not mean that you that you uh, disregard what you believe in. It doesn't mean that you you do not uh, address things that you think are important that are important to our country. And uh, with that being said, uh, my main man, Frankie, uh, and let's not, let's not forget, 281-558. I know we have calls waiting. 281-558-5738. I want, Frank, you had something to say. Say it. Well, yeah. I mean, I, let me just comment on what did you that, did. Did that, did our, did that, but did that squelch you any bit anyway? Or no, no? I, mean, I mean, obviously in a global idealistic world that totally makes sense okay but let me just say this it does not make sense when you have rioters that are that are shooting laser beams uh into the eyes of people that are protecting the united states courthouse in portland you you know this tony as a soldier you don't you don't. Well, I'm a you, marine. There's a difference. Okay, as a okay. marine. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very as much. As a as a war fighter, how about All right. that? All right. Okay, as a war fighter, you know that you need to meet meet fire with fire. We cannot allow. We are being overrun because we are we are meeting this aggression. Both from uh, until now, until now, until the swamp creatures have been exposed, and you know Trump, whether he wins or loses, he's engaged the enemy. And, and and until now, uh, you know, no one has done that. And you need to engage them in, in a forceful manner because they are not playing by the English rules. The reason we beat the British is because they were marching down the highway in their red coats and we were fighting from behind the trees and throwing axes at them. I know, them. and they were so mad that we weren't playing by the rules. That's the point. And what I'm trying to tell you is... I don't want to play by any rules anymore. I want us to enforce the rules that made this country great. I want to be left alone. I want to be able to earn a living. I want to be able to provide for my family. I want to be able to go to church. I want to be able to say Frank, that I'm... you can do all those no, things you now. you cannot. The church... When's the last time you went to church, Frank? A couple... I can't. <laughs> it's closed. Okay. So I bum, went... bum, bum, bum. No, I can't. Bum, I, bum, bum, bum. I'm a member of St. Anne's Church, okay? And when's the last time you went to church before it was closed? Over the summer. <laughs> over the, over the, the, I don't remember the date. I think we just had a moment. No, we didn't have a moment. I mean, when's the No, last... I love you, Frank, but I, I, you, go, I go to you're church. You're acting Tony. like you're so pissed because you can't go to church. No. Hell, man, you weren't going to church before. That's not true. Okay, I do go to church. I, mean, I want you to go to church. You definitely that, need to go I, to church. There's I, no doubt about that. Yeah, but listen to me. It's I. It, I do go to. You need church. to do some hail marys, Frank. I, like I, ASAP. I need to do acts of contrition. Never mind whole hail marys. How about a few uh, acts of uh, what do y'all Catholics call it? Don't y'all like have to confess and all that stuff? Go to confession. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. You need to do some of that too. Yeah, you need yeah, we all need to do that. But here's the thing. Every <laughs> every saint has a past and every sinner has a future and I've said that before, okay? Here's the here's what I want to want to say though. I want you to think about what I'm about to tell you, okay? I'm ready, but I got to do some sponsor stuff, so hurry up. Just think about what I'm about to tell you. I got 2 minutes, you. but I got to well, I got to recognize I can't read this in 2 minutes. Bro. All right, well let me let me before you do that then. Do you remember your last trip to Italy? Conchetta Limone offers master craftsmanship and the essence of Italy for your footwear needs. Loafers that will transport you from the boardroom to the beach, from Palm Beach to the shores of the Amalfi Coast. Conchetta Limone is a state of mind and a way of living. <laughs> Enchant yourself. What are you laughing at, Frank? These are these shoes are cool. I, I know the shoes are cool, but you don't have to just go to Italy well, in order just, to wear. Well, them. listen, I'm I'm reading what they gave me to read. I thought it was. I mean, I'll read it again. I was almost enchanted. Don't read it again. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth is, Lamone shoes, and you guys have seen them. And I hope you'll go to our website, talkingwithtony.com. Those are the Frank. Are they the coolest shoes you've seen? They're very cool. They're super cool. They're super cool. They were. They were written. They were in. Um, was it which magazine were they in? They were in, in like some famous magazine recently. Uh, they are super cool. I recommend them. I endorse them. I wear them. Um, if you see me walking around town, maybe I'll be at Tony's. Maybe I'll be walking down Richmond. Maybe, maybe I'll be on Bissonette between. <laughs> Well, you'll be going to Tony's, and I'll be going to Frank's. Wherever, Frank's. I, wherever I be, I'll be wearing Lemone shoes. I want you to to log in to LimoneOfficial.com. Cool, cool shoes. Let me tell you something. Tony Busby wears them. You should wear them too. We'll be back. Sorry, Frank. I had to. I had to. I had to. Our sponsors are Muy Importante, so I had to take I know, care and of them. I, and I forgot to talk about them. Yeah, no, no. But I, I took care of. I mean, they're Italian shoes, Frank. You're the Italian guy. I'm like an Irish guy. I don't know anything about about. I mean, I, I have Lemone shoes, and I love them. You got Gucci's on. Well, right now I got Gucci's on, but I love Lemone. They're they're made in Italy. They're handmade. They're It's a, a, you, a Texas company, and I love them. Don't you? I do. I we should have. We, we promised. They're great for hanging out. Like, we in, promised that we would wear them the next time we but came, but be, I forgot. They, they would be great. To, I mean, they're great to wear. You can wear them to Galveston, too. You can go hang out in Galveston. They're, you can to any place. I mean, you can yeah. wear them. In town and out of town, they're great. No, they're, they're great, great shoes. Products. And if you don't go to it's the website is, uh, and it's on our talkingwithtony.com website, but it's lamoneofficial.com, and they're coming out with new sizes and new uh, styles. Right now, they have like six or eight styles, but they're they're expanding very quickly. They're they're, they're really blowing up, to be honest. I mean, they're really doing a good job. But Frank, when we come back, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand, I'm sorry I interrupted you, but I had, to do, right. I had to and I got to do. Um, uh, Duke's Butcher Shop yeah. too, obviously, but but um, but after that, it's all you. Let's take Sharon's call and then I'll do this. Yeah, we will do that. Okay. So guys, if you got something you want to ask me or Frank, uh, I'm not going to answer your questions, but I'll direct your questions to Frank. I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. I ask questions. I don't answer questions. Frank, what say you? Uh, I'll answer your questions. <laughs> Just answer, ask me the question. I'll answer. You may not like the answer, but I'll give you what I think from my heart. I do want to. I do want to talk about Biden's mental health, and I want to talk about. Yeah, we need to talk about that. Trump, and I want to talk about the the polls and what you see, uh, because you know, obviously, the media, including Fox News, says Trump is losing. That's your guy. I would like to know, like, what you think. He's not my guy, but he's the only. <laughs> well, you're wearing his hat. You're wearing his okay, hat. Okay, well, if you had another guy there, I might wear Look, his hat. Am I wearing? Am I wearing no, Trump's I hat? No, about, I'm wearing a uh, sculpture spa. museum hat. You're wearing oh, some spa nice. hat. Wait, wait. No, that's a symposium. I got it in a thrift store. On scul on sculpture. Yeah, symposium. And Willis sculpture symposium. Yeah. What were you doing? Sculpting. No, something? I got it from a thrift store in Anguilla. Where the hell is Anguilla? It's a little. You know where Anguilla is. It's I, off. It's I off of St. Martin. Is. In the Caribbean. I know where Freeport is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's pretending. He went to I'm London School pretending. of Economics. That's such a lie. <laughs> what a lie. <laughs> What a lie! I, I went. I went. I went to. You know where I went to school? Texas A and M. He went to London School of Economics and Emory University. Don't even pretend. Don't pretend. Yeah. I mean, I picked this up. And I was in Anguilla, and it was in a thrift store because I so needed. Why don't you wear a Trump hat? I don't own one. 
Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, you're feeling uncomfortable, are you? Well, turn the camera away. For turn all, the camera for away. All that money you gave him, you don't wear a hat for it. Turn the camera away. Never put the camera on me again. <laughs> Look, I mean, people talk about. I mean, I understand why why some people may get ruffled the wrong way about you know Trump's demeanor. He doesn't particularly offend me, but. Talking with me, you can understand why. I don't mind such a direct approach to things. But I can't argue with, I like success. I don't want you to talk to me and make me feel good. I want you to do for the country. I want you to protect the country. And the truth of the matter is, the government ought to, is, the federal government ought to be about protecting us. It ought to be about protecting us in our, uh, against foreign enemies and domestic enemies. And other than that, they ought to leave us the hell alone, because we. Can, no, I'm with that. I we, can I can get behind that. We we. I can get behind leave me the hell alone because I don't need anything and I don't want anything. If you could fix the roads, that'd be great. If you could stop violent crime, which you haven't, that'd be great. If you could do something to prepare people for the next storm, that'd be great. Um, but beyond that, I mean, obviously, a national defense is incredibly important. As somebody that was involved in that. Uh, but other than that, I'd pr- appreciate you stay out of my life. Hey, let me just say something else. <laughs> I, I think I'll say this when we get back on the radio, too. But while we're doing this commercial, come on, put the camera here. Well, <laughs> Frank is getting where I am. Come on, put the camera here. Hey, hey. Oh, look at this I guy. Talk to the people. Oh, prima donna. No, no, no. When I'm talking, I would like to talk to somebody. And the camera, the people I'm talking to. And here's the deal. They're talking about defund the police all over the country. That's the beginning. That's the beginning. And you hear you hear you hear about this in the in the in the uh, progressive parties, okay? The next thing that's gonna ha- that's on a domestic level, defund the police. The next thing's gonna be defund the military. The next and that, and before that, you're gonna have. You think they're gonna spend any money on something that made us proud, which was SpaceX and go and 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 showing uh, all and, and developing that. all that technology? All of that's gonna be defunded. Defunded, and it will be defunded because people don't want this country to be great. They want us to be just. A, we are the last great country in the world, and when this country is no longer great, it's going to be one. Can I ask what corporation? Can I ask? And I just and China say, will be there in it. Can will I? Be their foot soldiers. No, no. I, I hear you, and and Frank, I hear what you're saying. But my question is, what is when you say the country is great? A lot of people say, like, what the devil does that mean? What do you mean? What the that? devil does that mean? No, I'm asking. What you does have it to mean? ask why America is great. No, and- no, I don't, 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 don't be conclusory. Just articulate, Frank. Why is America great? Yeah, you because said, you called until, it. Until, until, Go ahead. No, put it on Frank, and I want to hear what he has to say. Until we had all this COVID virus closed down, which is, in my opinion, it's been, been orchestrated. You don't find this. You're all- not answering my question, I'm sir. I'm going to get to it. Well, it's get to it quickly, because please. we had freedom. And we could do what we wanted to do, and the, and and we had the ability. And the government left us alone, and we enforced the rules that allowed us to arm ourselves so we could protect ourselves against the government. We still have that. No, not for long. Oh, I'm armed. Well, not for long. I'm armed. Not for long. You're armed. I'm armed, and not I, I'm going to continue long. to be armed. Not and I guarantee long. you that I will continue to be armed, and no one's going to disarm me. So okay. why do you say? If that's your criteria, because that's a platform that's going on. In the I don't get it. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm these, probably more armed than anybody that you know, Frank. Th- th- maybe so, but th- you have a tank. I think that was no. It's not the tank. Even the tank was not even operational, to be honest. Well, but, you know, but I just don't think that, that. You're, you're, you what you articulated did not make a lot of sense to me. It makes total sense. We're getting to ready Tony. to come back, Frank, and we'll we'll talk about it more. I want to talk about what I want to say here. <laughs> Hey guys, we were having a we were having a, a pretty spirited discussion over the break, and Frank was talking about making America great. And I asked Frank, "What does that mean?" Because it means lot- having jobs, and manufacturing jobs, okay, I mean that well, being that's proud not, of your country. That's not what you said in the break. You I said talk- freedom. That's what I said. Okay. Free. Okay, no, it's fine. But I, Frank, I promised you I would give you the floor, and because uh, I sometimes interrupt you, and and last week I threatened to punch you in the face. I recall. Yeah, I don't listen to you. I know you don't. But the good news is that there's a 
there's like a thing in, in between us. But anyway, I want to give you the floor, and then I want to talk about uh, Biden's mental health and the polls that, that we continue to see on CNN and even Fox News about uh, the presidential election. So, Frank, you had something you that was just, you had like a burr on your saddle. You know, when we first started this show, and I appreciate all the people watching from Louisiana to Florida, all over, uh, on Facebook Live, and I appreciate people listening on KSCVradio.com and on 700 AM and if you want, we got a lot of calls. We're going to take them, but 281-558-5738. But I promised Frank over the break that I was going to give him the floor, and I'm going to do my very best um, not to interrupt him. But, Frank, do not read a tome. Go ahead. No, no it's not a tome, but I want uh, this is something I want folks to think about. Okay? All right, go ahead, Frank. Okay. And this is something that w- that is not mine. It's not original, but it's something that, that struck me, and, I, and think about it. So I'm going to start, Okay. And, and let me let me preface it by saying this. Just get to uh, it, Frank. No, I don't need to get to it. I'm going to say what I want. Uh, well, I'm uh, going to cut you off. It's talking with Tony, but go ahead. Okay, then don't listen. To well, me. I'm listening. Go ahead. No. Don't get your feelings hurt. I'm not getting my feelings hurt, but, I, but I'm telling you, I have to set the stage. Set for, the stage. Sorry. For what I'm about to say. I'm listening. Okay. There were times on this radio show where I basically spoke against masks, okay? Mm-hmm. Basically because the concept of it I found offensive. And and uh but at the same time I will say this, people who want to wear them and people who feel that they want to be if they feel it gives them protection, I'm not against the concept of masks per se. What I'm against is the government imposing dictatorial, non, non-scientifically non based rules concerning masks. I mean, it's ridiculous because we have people are wearing anything on their face. What do we know that that does? It doesn't necessarily protect you. But let me read you this here because it's important. Um, this is it. Not about masks is this subject, okay? It's just a mask. We'll, we'll turn into... It's just the vaccine. Very quick, quickly, in less than five months, our govern, government has successfully divided into the, this country into obedient mask wearers and selfish people who refuse to wear masks. In less than five months, our government has dictated which events are acceptable and which we're allowed to, te- uh, which we're allowed to attend and which we're not allowed. Violent riots are acceptable and encouraged while family gatherings and celebrations are not allowed. Mm. Standing in a graduation line is a safety hazard, but lining up at a big box store is not. In less than five months, our government succeeded in closing family-owned businesses and encircling large corpora- enriching large corporations it has vested interests in. In less than five months, our government has persuaded the people to believe that a cashless society is a good thing in the name of a government-sponsored virus. In less than five months, our government closed down schools and permanently restructured education moving forward under the guise of public safety. In less than five months, our government demonstrated how easily fearful people assimilate to lifestyle restrictions that have no scientific premise. Our government has instilled fear as a as the ruling principle the majority of the population and then it's i'm going to tell you we're going to i left out a word and i'm going to tell you where it came from but the citizens are not afraid of the of the people power who are responsible for the removal of their freedoms and livelihoods instead they are fearful of their neighbors family human contact and air they breathe our government has manufactured hysteria In less than five months, our government reduced a free people into slaves to the very system that oppresses them. People who are wearing masks for the greater good will be the first to sign up for the new vaccine, which will have zero longitudinal safety tests. What's more disturbing is the vaccine will be used by our government as the standard until you are told Told that that you you cannot cannot enter a store store without without proof of of having a COVID-19 vaccine. vaccine. Wait Wait until until you you cannot cannot go go into public public places, travel, shop, or or go to the doctor without without proof that that you are not a risk to others. You do not realize that our government has successfully dictated to us when we are allowed to be outside, 
where we are allowed to go, and how our children will be educated in less than five months. A majority of the population follow their illegal dictates blindly, all because they are told to do so. They will also repeat this behavior with the vaccine for the government-sponsored virus. It was never about a mask. It was always about control. And I want to ask you this question. To me, when I, when I looked at this, it sounded like that's what we're going through here, okay? And, but this wasn't written in the United States. And this is not a United States problem only. This was written as a, as a uh, comment in a Canadian newspaper because that's what's going on with them. That's what's going on with us. That's what's going on around the world. And that's why they are fundamentally cha- trying to change this country. And as, Obama, uh, as Michelle Obama said, they use it as an excuse to d- redistribute wealth. They're using it as an excuse to redistribute freedom. And we're not, I, I, I will not have it. Okay, I mean, I'll go live in the forest somewhere if that's the kind of country we're going to live in. I'll take my dogs and I'll go to the forest. I guess my thing is this. Are we are we all relics? Am I am I so out of step with what's going on? We we, are we does is everyone listening to this radio show? And everyone who feels the way that we feel, are we? Behind the eight ball, are we on well, the on the wrong side of history? Is there anything well, we might? I I think that that I think do? there's something about to be said about that. Because I mean, are we are we are we Frank? And I'm just going to say it. No, and I right. hate to I hate to, I mean, I mean I feel like I'm kind of quote with it, but are we the the? And I hate to use this cliche, but are we the old man on the porch yelling at people to get off our yard? Because that's how I feel like we are. Well. I kind of feel like that. Are, are we at the point where where history is moving so quickly that everything's passing us by, and we're just screaming about it and upset about it, and and it's and there's nothing we can do about it? Is that a question? Yeah, that's how I feel. Okay. Because I listened to all that, and I was listening to it, and I was thinking because I have my own. You know, these are the days of two incomes, but more divorce, fancier houses, but broken homes. Quick trips, disposable diapers, throwaway morality, one-night stands, overweight bodies, and pills that do everything from cheer to quiet to kill. It is a time when there is much in the showroom window and nothing in the stockroom, a time when technology can bring this letter to you, and a time when you can choose either to share this insight or just to hit delete. Yeah, well, that's really— But you asked me a question. I know, but you know what, Frank? It was a rhetorical question because— No, but I want to answer. I know— we're being passed by, and there's not anything you well, can I, say I, I disagree with to you. change it. Frank. I disagree you can with scream and holler no. and yell and scream. No, you're wrong. No, I don't. You are wrong. No, I don't think so. Well, go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go you're ahead. wrong. Because there are certain things that are immutable. Well, go okay, ahead. there are certain things that are true. <laughs> there are certain values that, that are timeless, and those values are freedom of the individual. And this country provided provides a provided. I don't know if it still does, but it provided well, that's a sad state of affairs. It pro- if that's true. It provided an ability for individuals to express their freedom. It provided for, though founded by Christians, it w- and not Catholics, but by Christians. There was only one Catholic colony, and that was in Balt in Maryland. Well, because the first Catholic president was your boy uh, JFK. Right? He wasn't my boy, uh, it, it, but 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 the. The point is that threw him off track, didn't it? No, it didn't throw me off track. You just interrupted my what I was saying. The point <laughs> is, the point is, there are immutable concepts, and I don't care about the, what the latest trend is, and I don't care. Oh, I, I don't care that if you want us all to become one sex as opposed to or gender as opposed to multiple genders. I don't. I mean, we are we are what we are. There are, are immutable things in this life. I mean, the belief in God is immutable. Okay, right. in my in my view, you don't like me to say that, but it's no, true. No, it's fine. It's okay, fine. the belief. But I need to change be, the subject. No, belief Sorry. in values, common values, is what made this country work. The reason it's not working now is because we didn't allow the Pledge of Allegiance to take take place in schools. We didn't allow to, uh, people to 
to uh, talk about God in schools. Although Joe Biden says we should have had more teaching of the Muslim religion. I gotta, he wish you, Frank, but, I got I, I don't want to get off on on that. I gotta, I'm not. I know, but I got to. I got to as the as the host of the show. Take I got to keep everything. No, no, Frank, let, let let the boy do his thing. Um, I have to. I have to keep everything in line. I appreciate all the people calling and waiting. Uh, I got to give away some steaks. When we get back, we're giving away some steaks. Call in 281-558-5738. When we come back, we're going to talk about the current polls with regard to Trump, and we're going to talk about, I mean, we're going to just directly address Biden's mental health. It has to be addressed. I'm not going to be negative or positive about it because I'm very sensitive to mental health. Frank definitely is. He should be. Uh, we're going to talk about it when we get back. 281-558-5738. We're giving away some steaks from DukesButcherShop.com. We'll talk to you in a minute. Frank, you're so upset. But, yeah. Guys, Frank needs to chill the hell out. I mean, no. my the goodness. Hey, 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 Frank. There's one host in this show, and that'd be me. The country's a going chill. hell in a handbag. No, bag. well, there ain't nothing you can do by screaming about it on your front porch. Chill out. I'm not screaming on my front porch. No, you're screaming in that chair over there. Listen. I'll scream guys, in the car. I'll, he'll scream everywhere. We're giving away some steaks. If you want some steaks, dukesbutchershop.com, one of our very best sponsors, is giving away. Uh, he texted me and told me what I'm giving away. Let me take a look at it. Uh, we're giving away some steaks. Uh, let's see. We're giving away. Oh, he wants to give away two boxes, uh, New York strips and ribeyes. So we're going to take two callers. We only have we only have 42 minutes to give away uh, two boxes of steaks. So if you want steaks, if you love steaks, you know the number. It's 281-558-573. Sometimes me and Frank are quite loquacious, especially Frank. What does that mean? <laughs> Talkative. I don't even like licorice. <laughs> anyway, we're quite loquacious. And so, you know, uh, call in, and I'm going to try to, like, keep everything in line. Uh, but anyway, we're having a great time, and Frank is the best co-host until he's not. Um, he's great. I'll go down and stand with my, my sandwich board and talk about what I need to talk about. I don't even about. know what that means, and he just made up something. But you don't anyway, know what a sandwich board is? No, I know, I know. I'm talking about steaks now. Two boxes for two listeners. We're gonna uh, we're gonna pick two listeners for steaks. I'm not sure who they're gonna be, but one listener is gonna get four New York strips. Mm, awesome, and one's gonna get um, ribeyes, which is one of my favorite cuts. I love T-bone the best, but ribeyes my oh, second that's favorite. You're an aristocrat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna be back soon. Frank, if you wanna if you wanna just keep like. You know, doing whatever you do, go ahead. But I mean, you're just like nah, 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 nah. you're like the. Have you ever, if you've ever watched Charlie Brown, and and in the background is like nah, 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 nah. that's Frank. Yeah, that's Frank. Like, I don't want to say what you're looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you can on Facebook. You can say whatever. I don't want to. But say But you just whatever. can't say it on no, the radio. I can't say whatever on Facebook. They won't even let the president talk on Facebook. I, that's another thing. They're, 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 they're supposed to be like a platform where people can say things, and everything that's said on Facebook is not true. you got some, uh, well, I don't know, elitist fact checkers, they call them, checking what the president's saying and saying it's not true. Well, the truth of the matter is, I don't think they're true. I think they're liars. And I think that they're just, and then they tell him that, that, his, that the people who are supporting him uh, cannot... Uh, do anything. They've been on a 90-day suspension until right before the election. What a bunch of BS. What a bunch of... This is communism. This is like... This is ridiculous. This is not freedom. They ought to... And because we don't have any... Uh, All right. The good news is there's one host. And then there's Ed McMahon. He's Ed McMahon. I'm Johnny Carson. I'm Johnny Carson. Which means the camera always comes to Johnny. And when Ed gets out of control... I don't think Ed was ever out of control. It comes, I think it comes back to Johnny. Analogy. I'm Johnny. <laughs> We're back, we're back, we're back. And I was telling Frank, and if you're watching on Facebook Live, and I know a lot of you are, um, and I appreciate you watching. I was telling Frank over face uh, on Facebook Live, it's like, you know... There can only be one host. There can only be one, and guess who it is? That'd be me. And Frank is like Ed McMahon, but he's a 
he's a much better looking version of Ed McMahon and much more, Vos- much more interesting. Vociferous. He tri- no. He tried to. He's tried to take over my show so many times. I'm not you, trying to take over your I, show, Frankie. You're just interrupting me. I don't even know what Facebook is. Uh, yeah, but I will say this: I wrestled him last week. I won. That's I only pin- because you rubbed my stomach like I, an alligator. I pinned him. I pinned him. No, you cheated. And I will say this: though. we want. I want to talk. I want to. I got to give away two boxes of steaks. So I'm gonna take caller number two on line two, Jimmy. Jimmy, what say you? Hello. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, Sorry, be... we, it's in, in our second hour, almost like an hour and a half, we're finally taking one call because Frank is so loquacious. Uh, uh, what does I that on? mean? Am I on? Yeah, you're, you're on, on man. Jimmy. You're on, you're on. I got two points. Uh, about two months ago, my nephew passed away of cardiac arrest. And Sorry. He lived in California, and the families are coming all the way from Boston, Houston, and they canceled the funeral mass because of the former mayor of San Francisco – Governor Gavin Newsom wouldn't let him have a church service. Outrageous. That's ridiculous. And as far as the polls are concerned you're talking about, it's my understanding that uh, as far as Republicans go, only about 30 percent of the Republicans are polled. I don't know if that's true, but it, we look at the polls in 2016, and they had Hillary winning by a landslide. So I, I think we have a silent majority, and a lot of people are going to vote that, that – you know, they're, they're silent, but they're going to vote. There are people out there. Thanks for the call, Jimmy. That's, Jimmy, a, good, that's I, a good point. I, I agree with that. We're going to talk about the polls. But the truth, the truth is that there are people in states like New Jersey and New York who have just about had enough. And they're Democrats, okay? Because of the anarchy and absolute disgusting activities that have gone on in this country, People, there are people who are getting back to saying, Maybe we need to get back to some values. Now, they may not like Trump, and they may not, but but the alternative is not acceptable. It shouldn't be acceptable. And I have not, and look, Joe Biden on a personal basis, we can talk about that. We're going to get into well, that. Uh, before you can, I, before Frank, I know you're, I'm not going to get into that. You're off on a tangent, but I need to, it's I need to make tangent. sure. No, Frank, it's okay. You, you take, you're so triggered about everything. No, but I, I don't like sure. you saying when I'm on a tangent. I don't care. I don't care. I'll say whatever I want. It's the right. first amendment. I want Me uh, too. Steve, our producer, Steve, please make sure Jimmy gets a box of those steaks from dukesbutchershop.com. I hate to hear that uh, some, what he was saying and the fact that they could not celebrate a life. But and um, but I did say that we were going to uh, we were going to give away some of these steaks. And if you have not no freedom, if you have, if you have not um, if you have not tried dukesbutchershop.com. You're missing out. These are some of the best steaks. Am I right, yeah, Mauricio? Yeah, right. Yes. Okay. These steaks, these are the best of the best. Duke's Butcher Shop, one of our great sponsors. And, Jimmy, if you're not on the line still, I know we, 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 we heard what you said, but I want you to call yeah. back, and I want you to uh, give us your address. We're going to send you some steaks. we got to take another call. I'm going to take the next call uh, on line four, even though it pains me to do it, uh, from Jamie. Uh, from Spring, and who wants to say that, call in and say that they agree with Frank. Well, you got a problem with me. Come on in. He didn't say he had a problem with you. He just agreed. No, I said that. Come on, Jamie, what you got? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, let me let me take you off speaker. Yeah, take me off speaker because okay, i got listen, some things to say. To Frank, Frank yeah. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Jamie. I agree with every word you oh, said. Oh, my goodness the gracious. Work, and now every word about the mask, about the freedom about Trump, about um, the vaccines, all of it. Frank, it's going to be really hard for me to give this woman uh, a box of sirloins, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, Jamie, Jamie, do not hang up. I mean, I'm doing it because you have the guts to come okay, online and so say you, it. But. Everybody that's listening, just if you call in and you say you agree with Frank, Tony says he's going to no, give I'm you sending steaks. You, I'm, sending you, <laughs> I'm sending you a bag of switches, Jamie. No, you're you going to get even, steaks. But, 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 but what specifically about Frank, what Frank has said, what, what really moves you? Because 
to, to be honest, everything Frank is saying, I gave him a script before the show. Oh, God. you! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to call Tony Joe Biden from now on. Hey, Frank, you know what? Yeah. I think everybody who's going to vote for Trump believes, uh, I mean, agrees with you. I mean, I follow this stuff religiously, and I agree with everything you said. And what I'm trying to say to you, Jamie, is, 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 uh, not only people that, that w- would vote for Trump, okay? P- there yeah. are people out there who wouldn't vote for Trump that are going to vote for Trump because enough is enough. That We don't yeah. want to tear down this country. We I don't care if somebody... Look, go to whatever church you want to or don't go to church at all but or go go do whatever you want to do. Wear a mask if you want to. Don't. And if you don't want to wear a mask, I mean, if you're around old people and they say you should well, wear a you mask, around you, Frank. Well, yeah, okay. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm old, but I'm I'm kind you're of. You're an oldie but a goodie, Frank. But I've probably been sanitized. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you got so much liquor in your system, there ain't nothing gonna die. I don't know you. about all that, Jamie. That's a that, that's a that's a great call. We really we really appreciate Thanks, you listening Jamie. and calling. But stay on the line and uh, get your steaks. I I hope you enjoy those sirloins. Uh, let's talk to uh, uh, Deborah, line three. We haven't taken enough calls. We're going to take some more calls. Deborah, your que- from Houston, your question is who, or your statement is who, quote, they is. Tell us who they is. Hi, Tony. Hi. I want to tell you. Who- you better not say, like, start loving on Frank again, because I'm going to quit this show if you do it. I'm not loving on Frank. Thank but you. I, but I agree. Can you say something bad about Frank? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I can explain. Explain to you who Frank they are. Okay, tell me who. Tell me who it is. Okay, first of all, George Soros, Schumer, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, the Squad, Pelosi. Frank is starting to like sit up straight over there. We'll keep going. Okay, Nadler. Can you not add Nadler on that list? What's your he list, would, Deborah? Go ahead. He wouldn't even give Bar five minutes the other day. Come on. You know who they is. I just ask the question. When people use a pronoun, I ask who it is. That's just my, that's the yeah, lawyer in me. Yeah, yeah, See, listen, yeah. Frank's got something to say. They is. No. Oh. Can we can we include that they, Frank? No. No. Not that they. <laughs> not I'm not on the that. other side of those days. Deborah, thank you for listening to us. We really appreciate you. I lo- I love the the way you think, and um, I appreciate you calling, Frank. It makes me really mad. That everybody that calls in likes you better than me. If I'm gonna tell you, listeners, and I'm gonna tell you, Facebook, <laughs> they didn't say they like you, you listen, better, this is, me better than you. No, they did. It's clear. This is my <laughs> show, and if you continue to like Frank better than me, then you there ain't gonna be no talking with Tony anymore. It's gonna be <laughs> Frank sitting in a corner. It's gonna be the Frank sitting in a corner show, and ain't nobody gonna watch that. No, t- nobody t- watch Tony, that. They they like your. They like your style. Well, I don't know if they like my style. It sounds like that you're trying to steal the show. And I'm not trying to steal the show. Look, you asked me to give my point of view. I'm in counseling right now. I'm going to have to go back to counseling. I'm giving you counseling every time we have this show. You're just, <laughs> you're just a bad student. I am not happy. You're All a right. bad student. We're going to go back to Sharon. You, Sharon get, you, you get a D. Sharon, okay, I don't care. Sharon, come on and talk to us. <laughs> Line one, Sharon. Tony. Yes. And Frank. Can you please say something mean about Frank Sharon? You've been on the show so many times. Can you say something mean about Frank? Frank is very frank, and that's why I like Frank. <laughs> that is doesn't sound mean, Sharon. That's a poem, Tony. That's a poem. Frank is Frank, and I. That's why we but like. But don't Frank. you? But see, and we don't have to worry or wonder what he's thinking or talking about, and that's what. All no, he's mean. like diarrhea of the mouth. He just spits it right out. No, there. no, he's no. very thoughtful about what he says, and that's what we like about President Trump. We don't his style. We wouldn't always agree with, but we don't have to be concerned about what he's doing in the shadows behind sealed doors like they did with Obama. And by the way, Michelle Obama is a race pimp. And by the way, Oprah is a race pimp. And they suck off the fat of this land of what they've been able to, to the status they've earned and the money they've earned, and they steal it. And then they go off and they work against our nation, our representative republic. And if you, you started off talking about Russian trolls or bounty hunters or whatever it was. Yeah, well, and I couldn't get Frank to do anything about well, it. Well, no, I did I'll, say I'll to do something on about that. it. Here's my go comment. ahead, Sharon. Yeah, my comment is it has a scent of Russian collusion, and we're sick of hearing it. And that is a cover 
that they wanted that that was the way the Democrat Party deflected good from all the criminal activity. They've been going behind our backs in selling out our interests to other countries, including China, which leads me to this stupid China Wuhan virus, which is, and I agree with everything that was in that manifesto that Frank just read from was Canada. that ever posted on the on our page manifesto was but i, I but i just read an article about yeah. our freedom yeah, That's yeah. What you're well, talking I agree. About. by the way that yeah page? yeah i it hope looked, you edited it because frank the way it looked like like a bunch of hen scratch but go ahead. well well and and now we have we now we have our wonderful republican governor uh abbott he's turned into governor grab it and he's trying to spend our tax money to pay for tracking devices to see if we have the COVID virus. Anybody tries to put a tracking device on me, Sharon, they're going to have to do it by force, and and, and that's going to not be easy. Hey, yeah, okay. Sharon, only, Sharon I'm going to hold him down right at the end of this show. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. This is Brave New World, and what? this is what makes me mad about the Republicans. About when we have governors that are like supposedly Republican governors that should be standing up for freedom, this is all ridiculous. Thank Tr- you very much, Tracking call, Sharon. devices, uh, vaccines, you. vaccines that haven't been tested, and then the vaccine companies are going to get immunity from liability i'm not lining up for any vaccine and not until tony goes first okay let me tell you something anybody that wants to pull frank's uh trousers down and give him a shot on the right butt cheek i'm leaving the the country yeah well I don't i'm g- leaving the country because i don't want to be anywhere i don't want not just the same room i don't want to be in the same state when that happens I do not want to be anywhere near yeah, when they yeah, expose yeah. your right butt cheek, yeah, Frank. That's fine. Now listen here. I want to. I want to. A lot of people have asked me, like, uh, um, and we didn't. I want to put you on the spot. And uh, you we, put me on the spot. Yeah, it's not. It's not easy. It's not. Actually, it's not hard. Go ahead. Um, put me on the so spot. So, what do we? You know, about five or six years ago, Joe Biden was known as very with it, like quick witted person. I've seen some things lately that makes a lot of people question, and I, and it's just a sensitive subject because you know we have a lot of um, uh, people in our lives that you know as they get older they have they have problems. What are your thoughts on like a debate between Trump and Biden in light of some of the things we've heard and said uh, him say? You asking me that? Yeah, I mean I'm not asking myself. Yeah, I you, don't know. You're across the know. way. I just <laughs> well, listen. This is what I way I feel. First of all. Uh, I mean, I'm, it's hard to talk about it because it, it can it, be. It's it, hard I, to talk I, about. There it. are there are people that have been very close to me, that and and part of my family that have had dementia, okay, and have yeah. had slowing down as they get older and loss of mental abilities when they were really such sharp people and insightful people, and then all of a sudden they began to lose it. Uh, in this, I think that is absolutely. Is that a topic that we can talk about? Is yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't talk about it, you can talk about everything, Tony. That's the point. I think a lot of people are hesitant to talk about well, it. Well, no, we're not hesitant to talk about it. Why I'm are a, you getting so upset? Because the, the mere fact that you say that is so, like, woke. I we can't I'm talk not, about I'm that. I'm not woke. I mean, I'm awake, but I'm not Well, I'm going to wake you up some more okay, because what ahead. I want to tell, tell you. Tell me. I mean, what do you think? What I think is this. I think that the fact that they would actually take this guy, whether I agreed with him over the years or not, not, okay, put the politics aside. Mm-hmm. He was a statesman in the United States. Whether you agree with the fa- whether he was, uh, you know, his politics or the things that went on with regard to his family enriching themselves, all those different subjects. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. I mean, that's not what I'm talking about. The point is, he was a statesman. He was a senator for a long time. Okay, he had a presence. Whether you, whether you thought he was a racist or not, a racist, it doesn't matter. The point is. He's not that same person. He's not that same person. He is having issues by the mere fact of things he says, the way he says them. And for the Democratic Party to put up a guy like that, to put up a gentleman like, I'm going to say he's a gentleman, to put up a gentleman like that and then make him the fronting, the front for their, tro- make him their Trojan horse because he's an old white guy that won't offend the majority of the population, will get working class people to vote for him because they're 
Some people may be offended by Trump, get suburban moms to vote for him because he's a little kinder and gentler. And then behind them, they have a communist, socialist, destructive manifesto. They're using an infirmed person, and I find it disgusting. I, I think Joe Biden is what he is, but he's a you know decent guy in some ways gonna come I back. guess we're going to come back and he's certainly personable when he was okay I got to say I got to say I'm, it's I'm concerned I'm concerned he's a Trojan horse I'm concerned about some of the things I've I've never I've never been uh anti Joe Biden uh but I have seen some things that are concerning Ca- call us if you have a, an idea or come a comment Come on man I, well, listen. I haven't. I, I I got two seconds to give my opinion. No, that's I what Biden says. Two eight one five five eight five seven three eight. Come on, man. Two eight one five five eight five seven three eight. Call us. Talking with Tony. We got some calls. We got to take. We're going to talk more about Joe Biden. Uh, we're going to do it in a respectful way, but we got to talk about it. I have respect for him, but it's a shame what they're doing to the man. So let me say, and I, I, I look at it a little differently. Uh, you know, I met Joe Biden in River Oaks. Um, Frank, I think you may have been there when I met him. No, you tell me I live in River Oaks. Uh, yeah, anyway. But at somebody's well, house. where I live. You're doxing me or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'm going to have all this shit going on. See, Frank, Sorry, is, you Frank is going nuts. I don't even know what he's saying. But anyway, some time ago, I met Joe Biden in River Oaks. I've seen Joe Biden. In fact, when he, um, uh, when he was the vice president for Obama, the candidate, uh, he was, I mean, he was quick, 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 quick. Uh, he had some personal tragedy in his life, which makes you... Everybody does. I feel sorry for what happened to yeah, him, but which, everybody which, does. Which makes you, like, you know, um, uh, gravitate towards him. But I guess my, the point I'm making, I'm not making any judgments, but uh, because the jury's still out. But, the jury's not out. But I have seen, everybody, you know, reasonable minds may differ. I'm just telling you my point of view. Well, Frank can yell ju- at me. All, like, he's like old man on the front porch, but... <laughs> What I'm saying is... I'm not old and I'm not on the front porch. See what I mean? This is what I mean. Anyway, uh, this is why it's hard to have a real debate in the country because everybody screams at you. But what I'm trying to say is... no debate with these people. See what I mean? I question, based on some of the things I've heard Joe say, whether he is actually should be the standard bearer for any party. And I'm not doing that because I'm Democrat or Republican. You guys know... You know, I got crushed by Democrats and Republican in a very contentious mayoral race. Um, so I guess the point is, is that uh, we were trying to have a discussion, nonpartisan, about Joe Biden. Yeah. But it's kind of hard to have that kind of discussion because we're sensitive because we all have people in our lives that have various issues. And you don't want to be that person that says he doesn't have the mental facilities or the mental faculties to do this or that because... You don't want to be that person, but sometimes you have to ask those questions, and I'm not going to be that person. When, well, I am. When, well, he when, will be, when, but when somebody, I'm not. When somebody, I just want to ask the question. No, if you want, you live but your go life. Ahead, Frank, you, go ahead, you, you, you your, do it. You live your life. You go stay ahead. with your family. I mean, I understand the sympathy on the factor in terms of the you know the problems with uh, Alzheimer's and other other diseases like that that impair your faculties. In fact, I mean. Biden has had a number of aneurysms in his head that have been operated on, include, and he had some uh, uh, basic, I think he had some tumors that were benign that he also had removed from his head. I'm not so sure about the latter. But, the, but, but I understand that the medicine on that is that, that the residual of having corrections by surgery of aneurysms is that you're going to have some loss of cognitive ability. And that is what we're seeing played out. And for a for a national party to just so that they can put a face a wh- old white man's face on the uh, I'm not sure the national party cares about an old white yes man's they face. do because they know that the majority of people are still white Here we go. okay and that's why Obama picked Biden to begin with because he didn't want to offend that that's why Biden's trying to p- pick a black person and and and, the, and that's so ridiculous too it should be all be based on merit not color. This country's and they're, they're either way we could have a black president, and a black vice president if they were, if, you know, they were the candidates that you wanted to vote for. It doesn't have to do with color. I. It's the Democrats that are making us more racist. And I that's love terrible. it. I love it. I love it. I said uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey would say, "All right, all right, all right." Frank is over the break. If you're on Facebook Live, and I know a lot of you are, my goodness gracious, he is on a tear today, on a full-on tear. I don't even know what to do with this guy. I'm getting ready to jump over this 
thing and just like attack him in a physical way. Now, I do want to say, actually, I love Frank, and he's I know you Frank think. is one of my groomsmen. Can you imagine Frank? You need uh, grooming. Yeah, well, I, I think if anybody looked at you and looked at me, Frank, I, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be me that needs the grooming, but that's just my opinion. I mean, everybody is it's your opinion of opinions your opinions are like noses. Everyone has one, and they all smell. You understand? Oh. Ah, you notice how I changed that a bit. I changed that a bit. Aren't you slick little I'm swamp slick. creature? No, oh, I'm swamp. <laughs> and 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 I want to I want to reiterate what I said last week. We were talking about our history, and we were talking about statues, and I got on on a tear, and you know, people texted me and called me later and said, "My God, Tony, you, you went off." And I and I and remember my little analogy, which was this: I said, "Frank, you're Rottweiler. Um, I want you to pretend. What's your Rottweiler? You have two of them, right? I have two of them. Okay, and I have German Shepherd. Yeah, I want you to. What's your your favorite Rottweiler's name?" Uh, they're different. One's a female, one's well, a... just tell me the name of one of them. Frank, my goodness. One of them's named a Mussolini. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, why do you got to make everything so damn complicated? Okay, so Mussolini, I want because you to... Because he's a big boy and he's I very want you tough. To, I want you to pretend that Mussolini uh, has only three legs. Uh, one leg was taken away. How many legs does Mussolini have? Four legs. Exactly. You can pretend the leg ain't there, but it still is. <laughs> See, you That's the same to, you way with trick me. Didn't it's you? the same way with tearing down our statues and our history. You can pretend it doesn't exist, but guess what? It still well, exists. And I'll tell you another, another another analogy. Uh, what's your other Watt Roller's name? Osti. Osti. I want you to pretend that Osti. She's meaner than the other one I, in some I, ways. See, Frank, that's irrelevant information at this moment. Not to me. Okay. I want you to pretend that Osti. Just in case anybody wants oh to visit God. me. Oh, my God. You see how hard it is to talk to a man like this? <laughs> I want you to pretend. Meet my little friends. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Frank, you're about to get kicked off the show. Okay, so what? I want you to pretend that Osti's <laughs> tail is a leg. How many legs does Osti have? Four legs. Exactly. You can pretend <laughs> that Ossie's tail's a leg, but it's still a tail. And that's what I've been trying to say with our history and tearing down our history. I'm guy, not going to get on that again. No, no, no. There's a guy in Illinois, just, just a comment, and, I, and it's in one of these things, one of these articles that I read. He's in Illinois. He's, he wants to do away with teaching history in the schools. Okay? Yeah, oh, wait. And, and, and Sheila Jackson Lee, locally, she wants to do away with the White House. She wants to change the White House. The White House is no longer the place where the president is. She wants to make another place where there's a workspace and whatever. I mean, are you kidding me? When I talked to you earlier, I don't want to get off on a tangent. I talked it's to you not earlier. a tangent. Yeah, no, I do, it, look, Frank, remember. It's as much of a tangent talking, as dog's legs. Talking with Tony. I am talking with okay, you. Okay, all right. Here's what I want to talk about. You, when I texted you earlier today, I said, Frankie, are you ready for the show? And you're like, I'm always ready, Tony. I'm always ready. Blah, 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 blah. I said, what do you want to talk about, Frank? He said, I want to talk about masks. And you had, you had this long line of just like, you know, like, like it's just like, it's like stream of consciousness stuff. I mean, but you want to talk about masks. Why do you want to continue no, to I, talk I, I'm about? I'm talking about masks. I talked about them. But No. No, no, because it's the, the problem is not Why? because there's it's ridiculous. Do you know what mask I wear and it's perfectly acceptable? What? Look, I showed you. I wear a Crown Royal bag that's made into yeah, well, a mask. Yeah, you put a you put a hole in it so your cigar can stick out. That's right, because no, that's ridic how ridiculous it is. No, it's and, ridiculous that you have a hole in your mask. No, and what's ridiculous? That's is, what's ridiculous. What's ridiculous is is that complies with the regulations. There's no regulations. Well, if they want to have masks, they ought to say it's they, a fiat from the from the county judge a, and the mask. The county judge, who gives a damn? She's she whatever. Then why are you me? wearing a mask with a cigar in the back? Because in the I want to be free. I like cigars, and I'm gonna chew on it. <laughs> it's in the hole, so the I'm all covered what, up. Look, if you really were, that's a why the virus no, can't get through the cigar. You do it. You do it because you want to grab. Call attention to yourself. The ridiculousness of the mask. Well, no, you don't. Have, if you think it's so ridiculous, why <laughs> do you put a hole in it? Because That's it ridiculous. Even makes it more ridiculous. Well, it's pretty damn ridiculous. And, there, and, 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 and all these other paper masks that everybody's getting, they, they, there's no proof that any of if they if, if there was real science to it and it really was supposed to work and it do, did really. Then why have are it, you wearing it? Because I, you're worried about a two hundred fifty dollar fine. I don't Frankie. give a damn about the okay, fine. Okay, then you're if wearing I, if it. If you're me, a true patriot, 
Why are you wearing it? Because I can't get into the store to go like eat or at a restaurant. Or well, I can't order, get into, order favor. I can't get in. I don't know even what that is. I can't uh, get order, in. Got, order order out. I don't know. I don't do that. I can't, I can't get into Costco to buy food for the dogs. You can order dog food? No, I don't order dog food. I go buy them chicken and I cook it myself. Frank, is that that is such a lame excuse. If you're a real patriot, you are not. You are You're telling me I'm not a real patriot? No, you're I, not I because you have a hole in your mask. <laughs> and, and 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 you you're not a real patriot. I never said I was a patriot. I just served in the Marines. I, I, hello. I, 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 that's all right. All right. You want to watch the movie called Turn? It's called it's about Washington spies. Have you ever watched Have you ever watched The Patriot? Yes, the actual movie. I was the one who told you to watch it. No, I watch it many times. I watch it many times. I watch it many times. Patriot. Uh, let's take a call. Paul wants to talk about Biden and other stuff. Line two. Okay, now I I did want to I did want to say something. I hope it's not Tony's birthday. I hope you I hope you say something mean about it. mean about Frank, please. Oh, uh, Frank? <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, well, you know, I thought about that, and I thought maybe that'll get me a box of steaks. Then I no, thought, you, you know lost what? the but steaks, I gotta, Frank. I gotta be, I gotta be true to my. Ver- yeah, don't, values. don't betray yourself just to get steaks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna betray myself for a box of steaks. It can't be something more than that. <laughs> exactly. Go ahead. Yeah, I did cross my mind. I was waiting on the phone here. You know, how the idle mind is a devil's workshop, and yeah. he began to work on me. I thought it was. That's hands. what my Baptist I, preacher I thought, said. I thought it was hands yeah. with the nuns. <laughs> but go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, yeah, Paul. it was nuns that got me. You know, my, I got my right ears longer than my left ear because of the way Anyways, uh, back in the back in the fifties. Okay, guess, Paul, I mean, if you're going to go back 50. to the fifties, you got to hurry up. I was around there. Okay, no, this is <laughs> well, me too. Obviously, uh, I'm 79, so I kind of I don't know how old you are, but uh, 66, Frank, 66, 41. First of all, I, number one, I want to say I have to agree with everything Frank said. Oh my God, you're about was, to get kicked off coming. the show. Go ahead. <laughs> but you know the old bag man thing. I thought about a working cafe on Kirby Drive. This little eleven school place, and we had heck, we had two of them. Now, this particular one, uh, when we bought it, the health lady came in, looked it over. She brought a guy with her. She introduced as her brother. This is why. This is why I'm thinking about. This is my story about Biden, basically. But this, we're gonna. This is a true story. And uh, everything looked okay. She left. Two days later, the brother comes in. He wants to borrow forty dollars. Now we're talking about 1954. That's probably about 150 dollars now. And that was more than our day's receipts. That little place. And, of course, my dad turned them down. The next inspection, dishwasher was too cold. We had to get Chris dishwasher. We had to repaint the walls. We had to replace the back door. I mean, it was just one thing after another. And he, the brother was the bag man. And I relate that. As soon as I heard the story about Biden, I thought, man, that's an old. Of course, that, Biden comes from my time, too. That, that's an old, old stunt that goes way back. And it's so simplistic. But I probably younger people wouldn't even relate to that. I relate but to it. That, that's my Biden story. Well, thank you for your call, Paul. You, you, I really. First off, I appreciate you you listening to us, and I apologize for Frank's behavior. He's out of control. <laughs> I've been trying to get him under control. It's so hard. Yeah, well, it's that, so that, hard. That, We're going to be the back. The government trying to get us all under control. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. If you guys continue to like Frank so much, he's off this show. He's off this show. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. I'm just kidding. Two eight one five five eight five seven three eight. Talking with Tony. Frank, it makes me so damn mad. <laughs> and the reasonable person, the beautiful person, the good-looking person, the smart person, the, the the well-dressed person is the least liked person. I feel like I'm in high school again, Frank. Yeah, well, be- beauty's only skin deep, but obviously, you gotta, obviously, you gotta look into what the person's saying and their soul. I feel like I I, 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 send a little note to the woman. I said, "Do you like me? Yes or no?" And they all say, "No." Go to Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I just t- tell you what I think, okay? And I'm not. I'm if not- you choose Frank over me. That's a lifelong choice. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not running from nothing. I mean, I'm running from running everything. From something, but I'm not running for anything. <laughs> I'm running for the border. <laughs> yeah. The truth. The, Just get that camera off of me. I can't but, tell. Take but, it anymore. But, uh, but seriously, if we don't get our if we don't get our act together and, and protect this country, we're gonna lose it. They've already got. They're winning. I mean, I, I hate to say it. They're winning. And who's they? 
They are winning. The people that are trying to no, undermine the country, me. okay? With the people, black, all these, all these organizations that are trying to tear down our values, they're winning. They've already done it in the schools. They changed the curriculum in the schools. They've taken the pledge of allegiance out of the schools. Now our sports, people have to kneel for uh, for Black Lives Matter. Half of them don't even know what Black Lives Matter's ag agenda is, and I'm talking about the organization, not the concept. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I, I, I this week canceled subscriptions that I had for NFL Sunday for what? ticket. An NFL Sunday ticket. Because the NFL, I, I will say, the NFL and the, and the NBA are taking a hit with all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, they took another hit because I, a just, hit. I just canceled that, and it was like 600 bucks that they were going to charge me for all those games or whatever it was because I have a lot of TVs. The point is, the heck with them. I don't need to watch the NFL. You tell him. Hey, I'll put watch that the over Patriot. here. If you say Frank and Tony show anymore, there'll be no show. <laughs> Don't you ever say that. Don't you ever say that. Let me tell you something. Without me, this show doesn't go. I'm the cog in the wheel, pal. Yeah, if you want to talk, don't you to ever me, say that. If you never. Wanna, if you want to talk to me, I'll be out on the. Yeah, it'll be it'll be Frank's show on the sidewalk. That's it'll not, be the Frank sidewalk show. That's all right. We can do it in. person. I found him on the sidewalk. We, Let's not forget that. We can do it in person, and we don't have to. Wear no, you masks. can do it in person. You can do it in person over there in like like the outskirts of wherever he lives. Nowhere I've never heard of it. That's all right, but the point <laughs> is I'll, I'll be there. You can be there. Too. I won't be there. I'll be somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, you'll be in the Bahamas. Or Probably something. so. Yeah, good. Frank and Tony show. That's the most insulting thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> there will never be a show where Frank's name's in front of mine. There will never be you that can, show. You can take my name off of this no, show. No, I'm taking his name. Your name's not on this show. That's what makes me that damn mad. Well, it's there It's anyway. the talking with Tony. <laughs> There's no Frank. There's no Frank. That's what makes... And the fact that you said you can take my name off her, your name's not on the show. I saw it said Frank and little... No, it doesn't. Take his name off the internet. <laughs> there is not, that is not going to happen. I've worked too hard. Put Frank on my show. We got to do this. Put Frank on my show. You worked too hard. That was good. If I didn't like you, I'd walk I'm out right you. now. I'd I'm you. telling you, I'm so I'd mad. I'm, I'd take I'm madder than a hornet's nest. I got all out. these people. I got all these people on the internets and on the Facebook. Internet, it's called. And whatever it's called. I don't care. Uh, George Bush. and I, I follow George Bush. Internets. All these folks. Somebody suggested this show is... The Frank and Tony show. Let me tell you something. If there was a way I could ban you from listening to this show, I'd ban you right now. Me? No, the person that said that. Frank and Tony show. Don't you ever. Don't you ever oh, think what, that. What, 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 what are you going to try to stop the First Amendment? Freedom of speech? No, I'm just going to block. I'm, gonna, I'm going to ban you. I'm going to ban no, you. No, I'm going to ban gonna them. I'm going to shame you. I'm going to ban them Let from them my show. Say what they believe. No, no, they can say whatever they want, just not on my show. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to block them from you my show. You can say whatever you want, except not in my country. It's, I'm going to block them from my show. <laughs> if I could figure out how to block you, whoever said Frank and Tony show, and somebody on the Internet said Frank. Internet. And somebody said Frank's Place. And that was one of my high school buddies that said Frank's Place. Okay, you're blocked too, Scott. What does he say? <laughs> You're blocked too, Scott. What did he say? He said Frank's Place. He wants to call my show Frank's Place. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Frank's Place is going to be in a cardboard box on the side of the road. That's fine. Come that visit is, me. Don't ever say that again. If Listen, I will take my ball and go home. Oh, oh I'm gonna I, take will, my I will ball take and my go ball and go home. home. <laughs> Let's take a call from Ashley. Lyman. Do it. Let's take a call from Ashley. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ashley, what you got? Am I please on? don't. Yeah, you're on, but don't say anything good about Frank, please. Awesome. Well, I love him. I think he's a patriot. I think you are, too, Tony. And I think what the, the, the draw of the show is that Frank is saying what all of us are thinking. So yeah, we're but, too scared to say. But he's going to get. Say he's going to get. He's going to get bombed at his house later. I'm, well, That's I fun, but I'm, I'm, I'm armed and I got peppered. I thought I would be. <laughs> Go ahead, Ashley. I'm sorry. I interrupted. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. So the silent majority is going to show up. Um, I think a big issue that I think is crazy is that biden is just hiding in the basement and then with the, these these um the, the fact that the first planned debate is going to be after mail-in votes start it's a setup is it really i didn't know that that's the end of believable. september that's what yes. else we should talk about thanks for the call, ashley. That's no, no, good. Let, that's her, good. let us keep talking no that's good that, ashley thanks for the call let's talk about that because she brought up a really good point so are you telling me that 
mail-in ballots. The end is, yeah, they're going to start earlier than when the first debate is. Have they already planned debates? Yes, the, the September 29th or something. Uh, see, I haven't been paying attention. Interesting. Yeah, but here's, okay. the, here's the deal, okay? Yeah, yeah. The Trump's people keep saying, hey, you know, we should have the debates before people start to vote so they know who they're voting for. But yeah. it's a setup deal. This is all a setup. There's not, I can't imagine how Trump could win. Except for people like Ashley, you know, who are the silent majority, as she says, and other folks who have called in here uh, who are the silent majority. And we're the voice for these people, Tony. And don't, and don't believe it's not a personal risk that I do this. No, okay? I know. There's a personal risk for you. I mean, you, you, you're out there. Let's take, let's take uh, caller uh, line four uh, right from Pearland. What you got, right? Uh, so, uh, Trump going to get destroyed, guys. Stop kidding yourself. Uh, Frank, you are an absolute comic because you couldn't be serious with the things you say. I have a question for you, Frank. By the way, Tony, you're right. Most of the time, Frank is wrong all the time. <laughs> I got one. I, all right, to ask ask Frank your question, and we're gonna go, we're gonna talk so, about it. Go ahead. So, 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 Frank, when you get the virus, will you agree to not seek medical attention? <laughs> Thanks for the call, right? Uh, Frank. No, is- I won't agree not to seek <laughs> medical attention, but I'm not going to hide from the virus and just like stay under a rock while the government crushes my freedoms. So that's what I got to say to you. I don't care whether you agree with me or not. No, it's good. I, I, every now and then, Frank, it's good for somebody to, to, you know, I've been, I mess with you. Obviously, you and I are friends and, and uh, very close friends. In fact, Frank is one. Uh, the you already re- said I'm one of your The main men. reason, though, I wanted you to be on my groomsmen because I want to see you at a tux. Well, I want to see you at a tux. Look, tuxedo. man, you're getting married. Don't be hitting on me. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this, guys. I want to say um, too many times, and I know we're, the show's almost over and we've got to get on down the road, and I really appreciate everybody that's on Facebook Live and everybody's listening um, on either kscvradio.com or listening on 700 AM. We're going to be back next week. And I want to keep and, going. Me, who's, no, who's we can't there? keep going. Let's get another no, no, hour. There's no, we don't have it. But, but let me say a few <laughs> things. I want to say this, if I could, as a as a Marine officer, a recon officer, uh, as somebody that 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 has has put it on the line for our country. Uh, I appreciate all the people with differing interests and differing points of view, and and sometimes it, you may not believe that. That's what but, America's about. But I absolutely do believe it, and and you know I, I I mess with Frank a little bit here and there, but we're we're friends from way way back, and I mess with him. But I want to say this: every now and again, just think about it. We all had our points of view, but let's try to be a little more tolerant and a little more understanding to each other. I would if people and, weren't shooting lasers at me. Yeah, and people are going to shoot lasers, and we're going to shoot them back. But I really appreciate this radio show, and I appreciate you all listening, Thank talking you. with Tony. We're going to be back next week. We're going to talk about more things. If you have topics, you know you can you can email us at uh, talkingwithtony.com. You can, you can message us on Facebook because we have, obviously, a Facebook page, and we post this on Facebook. Uh, on our Facebook page, but we appreciate you, Frank. I appreciate you. Your good stuff. Thank your you, good buddy. stuff. And we'll be back next week talking with Tony. See Thank you guys. You. You've been listening to Talking with Tony. Join us every Friday at 6 p.m. with Tony Busby here on the Voice of Texas, AM 700 KSEV.